Okay, so hopefully we are live. Um, thanks for joining. Um, today we're going to have some fun. Um, I am looking a little flustered because <laughs> um, I've literally 8 p.m. or 7 seven fifty nine pm and I didn't have all of my tech working. I had no camera, couldn't get the stream link to work, um all a bit of a bit of a rush. So I'm feeling a little bit panicked. Um but I think we've got there. I think we're maybe sort of one minute late, but we are live on the stream and we're gonna have some games tonight. I've got five games lined up which are based around graphic design so mostly i think typography games i haven't played any of them yet i just found a website that said five great games for designers and i thought well you know what let's have a bit of fun this evening let's play some of these games and let's see if i'm any good at them so this could be a huge embarrassment to myself um or it may go really, really well. So let me just double check that the stream is actually working uh, by going to my channel on my phone because that will help me to make sure that everything is a-okay. <clears throat> I can't see anyone in the chat, so um, we will see uh, what happens. So let me just go to my channel. I think we should be we should be a okay. I've, I'm starting to get used to this now. Um, it looks like <clears throat> the stream is working. So let me just that. Uh, yep. So the stream's working. Okay. Don't need to look at myself anymore. Right. Okay. So I don't think there's anybody who has joined. Uh, there might be a couple of people um, looking at the details that I can see from the stream. So if you are here, please say hi in the chat. Let me know that there's. Uh, someone watching and listening and uh, we can get started playing the games because I'm just really really keen to get started first off I'm going to grab myself a beer because I, I feel like I deserve one today it's been a it's been a hectic day um, let's go for let's go for a brew dog lockdown because we're still in lockdown but we kind of come out of that soon uh, hey we've got someone on the stream Hey Donna, good to see you. I know that you'd said that you weren't getting any channel notifications, so it's fantastic to know that it's actually working again for you. Um, thanks for joining. I think you're the only one who's on the stream right now, so it's a one-to-one -one, um, at the minute. Um, hopefully you can hang around for a little bit and uh, have some fun. Um, so we're going to play some games. So let me just bring up the web screen so we're going to play some games today um let me move uh let me move myself down to the bottom so that people can see the chat on the side and um we'll play some games so i've got five games today we've got one called i shot the Sh i shot the serif uh we've got shape type the letter shaping game then we've got kern type the kerning game so it's all about type um then we have pigs act picks actly where you have to uh, i think it gives you a, a a box size in pixels and you have to try and draw the box to the exact size of the pixels so see how good you are at that and then we have the bezier game a game to help you master the pen tool so i know it took me a long time to master the pen tool um so this may show if I have mastered it or not but um, I'm keen to get started um, with um, I Shot the Serif I think that's going to be a, an interesting one so as I say I've not played any of these so this could be a complete disaster um, so I'm presuming it is what <clears throat> what we have to do is shoot the serif font and not shoot the sans serif uh, I can see here that we've got sign profile so we can have like space invaders. Uh, let's just put it on randomizer. If it's too loud, I'll switch it off. 
and then it's got choose your level hey prudence thanks for joining uh so i really should go for senior i feel like i want to go for the junior but that would be cheating um if anyone wants to uh play along i don't know if um what i'll do is i will see if i can paste these um urls into the chat and if i can you can open up the game on your own browser um oh yeah it looks like it, it because i'm an admin it lets me so in the chat i've just pasted in a link to this game so you guys can have a go as well and you can let me know what your score is so i'm going to do the right thing and i'm going to choose senior oh it starts straight away okay so i have to click on the serifs okay I'm feeling the pressure here. Feeling the pressure. Oh, see, I, I wasn't sure about that one. See, I already have got one got one wrong. Um, and what am I still missing the jail? That's terrible. That's so bad. This is when you know I'm concentrating and I'm not I'm not saying anything. Oh, what have I missed? See, oh, I got another one wrong. Right, right. Focus call. Focus. Focus. Oof. I'd be terrible on quiz shows. The the pressure would... Um, oh, I'd, I'd done it again. Uh, the pressure would get to me and I would totally mess it up. Oh. oh. Oh my goodness. Right, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Let's uh, Let's try that again. And try not to be... It's because I, I know you're watching. I know you're watching. All right, let's try it. Let's try again. Let's go back. Let's, you know, senior again. Right, let's let's focus. Three. I don't even know if there's a time limit on this. I think there probably is, and I just haven't spotted the uh, the counter for it. Uh, ooh, okay, doing okay so far. Uh, X T M D J X T H I. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, I can feel the pressure. T, H, S, V. Oh, I don't know about that Z. I'm going to go for that Z. Oh. Oh. You shot this serif. Well done. You've been promoted, but can you handle the pressure? You now have less time and fewer allowed errors. Right. Okay, let's go for round two. This one, yeah. L M Q Z F G W F T Y W L H. I don't think that I is one. R S K W J N K O N I C G L. Oh, what have I missed? Is it this I? Yes. Oh, I had four left on time. A uh, score of 214 because I got one wrong. One wrong. Um, I don't know if anyone, I don't think I saw anyone post in the community channel on the YouTube channel. Uh, I don't think anyone posted the score. I saw a couple of scores from people for Kern type. So I think we had a score of 94 and 85. So... Um, I presume that's about kerning type, so I have to try to beat 94. So, um, 
let me know if you guys are kind of watching the stream and have this game in a different browser tab and are playing along. Um, I would love to know what score you've got. Um, we've got five games, so we'll probably play them a couple of times and then move on to the next game. So that gives you guys time to play your version as well and let me know what score you got. Um, and obviously for this one, um, you get to choose junior, middleweight or senior. So I've been playing it on senior. Um, if you get a score, just let me know, you know, whether you were on junior, middleweight or senior. Um, I'm not sure what the, I, I'm not sure if it maybe gives you more time and that's the difference. So let's go. I'm going to go for this one more time. See if we can get a better score than 214. If I make a mistake, then I won't get a better score than 214. Doing okay so far. Mm. Really do feel the pressure on this. Some I'm missing because I'm not sure um, if they are or are not. Um, so for example, that C. This Q, this Q. Oh, what am I missing? This D. <sighs> okay, so we got through that one. Okay, so I need to get through this next one with the perfect, perfect score. X. Okay, N. So this is a you know a, a good. A good game for helping you to, you know, quickly recognize serif, serif type and sans serif type. Um, although you wouldn't be put under this high a pressure <laughs> to find it. Uh, even in a job interview situation, you probably wouldn't be told to play these games in order to get a design job. Um, although it would be interesting if it was part of the... Uh, Part of the interview process, just for fun, see how well people do. EQ, R. Ooh, I'm not sure about that Q. Um, things like the Qs um, are always uh, tricky ones for me. That U as well, right? Uh, I'm going to go for that Q. Ah, dang, there was a P down there. Oh, well, that sucked. Oh well, okay. So I'm going to go with my, I'll stick with my, my best score of whatever it was, 214 on senior level. I have no doubt that many, many people will beat that um, and get a perfect score, whatever it is, 230 or 240 or 250, something like that. Um, but I will, go with, I will go with 214 and I'll stick to that. Nobody's perfect, although I should be at this level. Um, okay, let's uh, move on. Remember, if you're playing the game, um, if you're playing the game yourself, pop your score in. Let me know what level you are playing it at. So this one is called Shape Type. Again, I'm copying and pasting the URL to the game in the chat box. So let me know if you're going to play that one. Um Everything seems to be still working with the stream. Okay, so drag to get started. Right, okay, so we need to fix. We need to fix the type. Okay, oh, well, okay. Oh, so you have to do it and then, oh, okay. Compared to what though? You just, does this mean that it's, done oh awful okay this is going to be tricky <laughs> this is going to be a tricky one but bear in mind i didn't know what i had i thought compare would let you see something so i'm just going to use that as an excuse i've never played this before so um I'm not, that's my excuse for a terrible score 
this time around. So you don't drag the the points here. You only drag the. Oh, okay. Okay, right. So can you hold Shift to keep these locked? Right. Okay. Here's a here's a tip for you. If you're playing this game, you can hold down the Shift key, um, and it will lock the when you're pulling the the point it locks it into a sort of a 90 degree line so you you know you can kind of and generally with type the it will either usually it's sort of 45 degrees or 90 degrees you know like it so it's not going to be sort of random so you probably want it to look fairly you know, fail, oh, that looks a bit weird. It should be, I think, a bit smaller. Oh, this is tricky. Um, does that look right? Maybe that needs to be a little bit. Can you click off and see? Ooh, this top bit doesn't look right. This top bit does not look right. Maybe it needs to be... Nope, this bit looks a bit weird now. Oh, this game could take this game could take me a while, but and I'm not going to stick on it all night. We'll kind of go through it and let's let's. That doesn't look right to me. Right, I'm just going to click compare and see what we get. Eighty six. Okay, so I just hadn't I hadn't dragged it up enough. I hadn't dragged it down enough for the this this part here, and I hadn't. I dragged it up to the top. Um, I am terrible, by the way, at remembering the different elements of of type. So the stem and you know the bowl and all of that. The terminology pff, it just goes out of my head. Um, you know, I learned it at, at college, um, but it's kind of gone. <laughs> I, I know what I need to do with type, but the terminology is not very good. Although I've got oh okay, this looked way more complicated. Than this this is I'm not finding this a fun game. Um, right, okay, so that go there, and then I'm assuming that will get pulled up, and this needs to be rounded out a mm, bit more. Does that need to go further out? Oof. How does that look? Uh, does that maybe need to be I don't know if this needs to be sort of thinner and then get thicker or if it should be the same thickness all the way around or maybe oh. right I'm going to leave that one there jeez what's this one in here okay right I'm going to take that to there and we're only on 3 of 10 <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna. Hmm. Now does that boat? Does that need to be like its opposite side? You know, sort of. No, that's the right. I think. Hmm. This bit does not look right. This bit does not look right. Oh, and I still think that needs. To... This bit here just looks, this bit here looks strange to me. Ooh. Right, I'm going to, I think it needs to be a bit thicker. Right, I'm going to go with that. Fingers crossed. Oh, terrible. So did I make that too, I made that too thick? Oh, too thick, oh. Okay, what's the original? Oof. Okay. Not great. Okay, so I'm I am embarrassing myself um with this. But hey, it's all for fun. It's all for fun. Alright. Okay, so let's bring that down there. Now I don't know if that okay. I'm gonna move this out to here. 
Now I don't know if this, I don't think I need to move this. Do I? Do I need to move that? Does that need to come down? No, I don't think it does. And I'm probably, I think that needs, I think that's fine there. Um, what else was there? This, this bowl here. I'm going to go with that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So you did have to... Um, okay. Oh, I'm not doing very well at this, am I? Um, this is... This is <laughs> not doing very well. After a busy day, this is probably not the, the, the time to do this. Okay. Right. Well, that was the worst one so far. 62%. Okay. Okay, this is again. This is oh, I'm gonna. This is gonna be so bad. This is gonna be so bad. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this at all. I really am not enjoying this. Um. Now, I'm just wondering if does that should that be on on an angle like that. Should. See, it's giving me two control points, so I feel like I need to be moving both of them. Um, but obviously, they're fixed on this center point, so you don't want that to have a have a. You don't want we don't want to have a kink in it. It needs to be as smooth as possible, um, and we we definitely can't control those. So that this isn't quite right, and I don't think you can pull. No, so you can't pull. The center point down and so like that you know kind of goes up like that and you don't want to pull that over so I don't know how much more to how much more to do with this one um, I mean uh, I'm just going to go for that I think this one's going to be terrible yeah not much better than the last one this is way more difficult than I thought way more difficult than I thought. Anyone else playing this game and finding it really difficult? Right, okay. Uh, I should have just picked Space Invaders or something and, you know, just played normal games, not not design games. Okay, so that one obviously goes down the way. This one goes up the way. Um, and this one goes up the way. Now, are these going to need to be equidistant on... Oh, that's terrible on that side. Mm, don't know, it looks, still looks a, looks a bit flat on that side. This could take this... Oh, okay. What time is it? I've got lots of time. Lots of time. Wow. I'm glad the... This none of this. Uh, my life doesn't depend on any of this, because I would be re <laughs> really panicking. How's that look? Oh, a little bit there. Maybe not quite round enough. I seem to be either ever so slightly over. Or under, and I'm sure if any any type designers, any type, so you, so you've scored seventy six, Dirk. You've got all the way through. Oh, I knew you would, Dirk. I knew you'd be good at this. I knew you'd be good at this. And you've obviously you've gone through it really quickly as well. So I'm going to do this right. Oh, 89. Right, that's the best one yet. Okay, moving up again in the world. Right. But those 60 scores are, will have brought me right down. They'll have brought me right, right down. Let's see. How does that look? Some really nice type. I do like some of these... Some of these... Uh, some of these fonts look brilliant really do like them I'm actually oof. no there's something not quite right on this 
I think that maybe needs to be there. I'm going to go for that. 90. Yes. So I'm obviously finding the type that, I'm, uh, that I like. Um, Dirk saying, look at the counter mirrored ones. They give it away. Okay. Right. Let's see. Oof, right, that was right. No. Let's just try and get this to a rough a rough um estimate of where we think it needs to be first. Right. So there's something a bit wonky going on here. So I think that maybe needs to be tighter. Mm. No, this is, I can just my eye is just telling me that this is uh, not looking great. Um, how have you? How did? How did you do, Asa? Eighty three on the last one, right? Okay. Whoa, I'm not happy. With, I wish I. I don't know why, but I feel like I want to change these points on the bottom. I don't feel like I'm. I'm doing the right thing with with these ones. Oh, I think this needs to come down a bit. Oh, that looks so wonky. So wonk, so bad. Right, I don't. I'm going to go for it. Okay, eighty three is not too bad. Mostly on those inner inner elements. Right. Okay. All right. Let's do this first. Oops. Let's do this bottom bit. Uh, okay. Let's do this bit. Oh. This is a really good game. Like from a construction. A, it's been really well made as a game, but in terms of letting you learn about um, construction of type um oh that's a double one oh man oh right maybe that does that no that probably does need to go up a bit there right let's have a look at this mm. it's quite bored out there it's quite straight there but it doesn't let me change that one so let's go up to there like Dirk said try to you know mirror mirror each side where they've got mirrored elements yeah that's looking a bit better um, okay I'm going to go with that 84 okay I'll take that right is this the last one 10 of 10 holy moly right Okay, uh, Dirk. Just out of interest, was it all this? Or did you get the? Is it the exact same ten letters and glyphs each time? Like, did you get the same the same ones as I'm getting? Or does it kind of mix it up for for people? Oof! This is going to be a an interesting one. This is going to be an interesting one. All right. Ooh. I'll pick that up there. Yeah, so it looks like it's the same same each time. So I suppose you could you could get you could get good uh um the same get good at doing the same the same letters. Oh, my, this is not picking this up. There we go. The same letters each time. Um I'm now should that should this should that come out the same as that possibly and then maybe maybe this one as it's inside needs to come down mm, that looks a bit a bit weird 
think this inside. Ugh. Probably doing a lot of sticking my tongue out as I'm as I'm concentrating. Right, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, 81. All right, what did I get? 78. All right, who got what? Okay, Dirk got 76. Anyone else played this? What did you get, Asa? Keen to see what your average was. 78 out of 100. I, I must do better. I must do better. But uh, what a great game. It, it kind of stressed me out a little bit, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> in the end I think once I got to the end of it it was uh it was good um and you could tweet your score um I wonder if I'll, I'll maybe I'll tweet my score I'm not logged in though okay well I'm not going to log in I'm in an incognito window so I'll just leave it um okay 78 not bad must do better got some really terrible scores on a couple of those though so let's move on to the next one which I'm probably going to you know, let's see if we do any better. So this one's Kern type. So I'm going to copy and paste the link in again into the chat so that everyone can have a go who's watching and joining along. I am, I think, now that the chat's... Oh, just moved all the chat there. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to move myself. Um, this is what I want to move. And move me back up to the top so that people can see the chat there we go right so let's have a look at this one so it's pretty obvious what we need to do is we need to um, get the kerning right so um, if you don't know kerning is the spacing between letters um, so sometimes when you get you know you're using a font and you type something out many well-made fonts will the kerning will be really really good but on, on often on free fonts and you know fonts which haven't had as much attention paid to them um certain letters when you type them out and they sit together the gaps are either too tight or they're, they're, they're too um too loose so you need to you need to kern them to get it to look look right so you can with this one we're just dragging um this in so it's only letting me drag the oh no it lets me drag okay so it doesn't let me okay so I can drag the middle ones okay to get the get the spacing right so um, I don't know if this is going to be like the other one where it um will show us how far out we are or if it's just going to give us a score I'm trying to look at this it's so large I'm not used to looking at the text so large right I'm going to say done does that look about right And it's not about getting, you know, the same gap between each letter. You're not trying to get the exact same distance because, you know, you need some distances and not others. You got 100, Donna. 100% for, for, for shape type. 100. Holy moly. That does, that'll be to figure out what prize you can get for that. That's amazing. That is amazing. Uh, hey, Laurent. Thanks for coming. Pleased to have you on the stream. Uh, we're having some fun with some uh, design and type games. Um, some some doing better than others. And I am in the in the camp of not, not, not doing better than others. If that makes sense. Right. So, yeah. So, it's just, it's about getting the, you know, so that it, it looks, it looks correct. Um, oh, I was... Okay, I got 100 out of 100. Is that what you were is that what you were doing, Donna? Was it the 100 out of 100 for this one? Let me know. Cuz if you got 100 for this game, then that's amazing. Um but so I got 100 for that one, just ever so slightly out. Um oh, this these are these are always, you know, ones where you get you can get issues um with uh with kerning because you've got all of this sort of empty space here so it's getting it to look right you know it doesn't i shouldn't the letter shouldn't really sit under that but kind of want to get you don't want too much negative 
uh, or white space, negative space here. And it's, you know, getting the balance between everything right. So, yeah. So you got it on, the, on this one, Donna. Oofed. Miles out. Miles out. I didn't think that the Y would go that far under. Um, miles out. Absolutely miles out. That's a dreadful one. Okay, here's another one where we have to go under a Y. Do I learn my lesson from the last one? Do we, does it go under? <laughs> um, don't know if we want... This is weird. Okay. Let's... Not, uh, there's just certain things that throw me off, like the, the, the serif here on the E and the S and how the S is slightly higher just looks weird to my eye. Um, okay, I think this one I want to bring in a little bit oh, closer. Anyone else getting, you know, it's meant to be fun games, but is anyone else just getting a little bit stressed <laughs> about it? Um, because this, you know, this is my job, and uh, I'm not doing incredibly well with it. Feeling the pressure of of streaming live to everyone. Um, I don't know that. I don't know if that feels that needs to be bigger. I'm gonna I'm gonna click done. Oh, so so close, so close. Did better on that one as well. So that was uh, that was not too bad. Yeah, I kind of have to have my browser screen at this size because it's how I've got it set up in OBS, Dirk. So I, you know, um, I'm kind of stuck with it being so large. Um, but yeah, I am finding it, it's weird. I'm finding it more difficult judging it because it is so large. Um, you'd think it would be easier because you've got, you're seeing more of it, but I actually find kerning easier when the text is, you know, as you would normally sort of, read a lot of it okay now this okay see now this is a right so i can't move these two end ones it feels like this should be really quite tightly um kerned on this one something about Something about this O. Uh, I don't know about this one. That looks all right. That looks looks okay to me. Just second guessing myself on on a lot of this again because it's just so so big on my screen. Ah. Oh. Okay. I did think that this L needed to be a lot closer to the O. Um, I did think that. Okay, I'll wait. Some of these just feel like they're... Like, some of these feel like the... The tracking, you know, between the first and last, and then what, the space that you've got in the middle just seems to be really, really wide. I mean, this just feels really wide. Unless, you know, that's just the... You need to kind of try to get it that way. To sit right back. See, that just seems... Um, so the kerning is, the you know, the space between each letter. And then you've got tracking, which is over the whole word. And the, the tracking on this just seems to be incredibly wide from my eye um, looking at this. I think I'm going to completely mess this one up as well. This is not going to be a good game for me. Not like the previous two, I don't think. I'm usually quite good at these as well. But I think the size of this text is just completely throwing me off. Okay, got that one pretty much nearly nearly perfect um, on that one. Okay, Roisy. Roisy. Now, again, I think to kind of watch the space between the the O and this I and then the R here. So 
but I don't want there to be too much space over on this right hand side because that's then going to look kind of off balance a little bit. I'm presuming that this game's going to give me an average percentage as well. Um, I did do terribly on one, which will bring that down. That seems a bit wide over there. Mm. Uh. If in doubt, squint at the screen. This still seems a bit... See, then there's too much space there. Ah! 83 in this one for Donna. Right, okay. Got a feeling you're going to beat me on this one, Donna. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for that. Oh, 100. Still not perfect, though. The, the, the eye was, again, same as I said in that other one, I just completely misjudged the the gap between the O and the tall letter next to it. Okay, what have we got now? Oh, holy moly. Right. Okay, so this U, I think, needs to go fairly close to that Q. And all of this is way too, too tight over there. Right, this is an interesting one because you've got these upward strokes. Um, so it's whether they've got this so that the stroke, so even though there's a gap here, does it, should it flow, you know, should it flow up from this U into this I and then up from the I into the, into the J? Um, and then it's, it's, again, squint at the screen. By squinting at the screen, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's a scientific thing or not, but I find that when I squint at the screen and I kind of blur the shapes, it lets me see the, the spacing in between and I can kind of see where I think there's too much. See, now I think there's too much here. Maybe I've got this, maybe I've got this U over too far. I'm probably going to regret this. I'm going to pull these all over here a little bit. Ah, oh, does it not give a final score? Maybe we should. I should have been writing down what my um, percentage is. If it's just going back through the same words, uh, it sounds like it doesn't actually. Well, this has got done. Did this have next before? I'll click done and see what happens. Oh no, it does say next. Oh wow, gave me a hundred for that one as well. Okay, I was looks like you know I was pretty far out on the O and the T. Didn't do very good with that, but I'll take a hundred. I'll take a hundred for that. I've not gone through all the words yet, so we'll see what happens when I get through all the the same words. But man, they're getting some of these words are getting pretty long. Um, like that's not right. This, this font should be a bit easier because the way the, it kind of curves down here on the U, you want the A to sort of sit nicely and naturally into that. So that kind of, that should help me work out the spacing a bit easier for the rest of this. Maybe that's a bit tight over here the space between the G and the A feels a bit big mm, don't know let's see see then I'd have to have the same same here wouldn't I so that it kind of matches up so if I kind of match that up pull that over Maybe that A is a bit close to the N. Because I've not I've got an N here and an A as well. Maybe this 
well, this is just so to use a phrase for nickety meaning fiddly or right, I don't think that's right I'm going to click done okay give me 100 again I'll take it I will take it oh still going what time are we at quarter to nine right okay so let's so I think that O is going to have to go underneath there could be wrong could be wrong let's move this over here but I do think these are these are great this is a great way to to learn about kerning type um I mean I do see you know sort of in the design groups and stuff you see you see logos that are posted or even just you know flyer designs or poster designs and the kerning is you know not even slightly off you just see some terrible examples of it and i just think it's it's probably more self-taught designers that when you you know you're at union college and i know that there's an argument about you know you don't have to go to university or college um and no you don't you can you know there's plenty of excellent designers who didn't go to college or university but there are certain things you know that you you know you're taught type and you're taught kerning as part of college courses and i do think that those are fundamentals that you should know as a designer and i don't think enough designers um, who are self-taught take the time to learn that um, and what they'll do is they will just buy a font or a typeface whatever and they will just type it out and assume that it's correct because it's typed out but it's not always correct you do need to kind of go in and also you might want to kern specifically tight for certain designs or you know have it fairly loose for other designs so it's good to know you know it's good to know where where you want where you can get that balance um so these games are these games are good for for that kind of thing i'm pretty happy with how i've got that actually I'm just going to click done. Oh, miles out. Well, that kind of ruins my uh, 100 scores. So um, that's kind of screwed that one. Um, yeah, that was terrible. Probably because I was talking too much. Whew, still going. All right. It would be good if it sort of said one of you know seven of ten so that we we get an idea of of how many we've got you know I suppose not everyone's doing a live stream whilst they're doing this though and i'm just very conscious of you know getting through the other couple of games that we have before the time is too long this x y is tricky isn't it it's not going to be that close that is tricky Got a feeling I'm going to end up like the last one where there's going to be a few letters which are out of place because I'm kind of I'm kind of rushing things a little bit because I want to get on to the next the next game. And again I feel like where there's a a bowl on the letter it needs to be closer sort of to the upright but feeling that this is a bit wide over this side now i think the middle bit's a bit feels a bit squashed if you get this bit wrong then the rest of it's going to be all over the place because it's just not right so let's see let's just click done uh! terrible on that one wow that that y was a lot closer to the x than i thought it was going to be 90 so it did give me a score asa so i'm not sure why it didn't give you one um those those two those last two are what screwed me up so um hey ho um 90 out of 100 um as dirk said i i'm pretty sure if i was you know if i was able to make my screen a lot smaller and view the type sort of this size i would i would have got a much higher score than than 90 out of 100 um but that was good 
that was a that was a good game. I um, I enjoyed that. So let's move on to a slightly different one. So this one's called Pixactly. So let me again copy and paste into the chat the URL for that. Um, or oh, Dirk saying that he loves Meta. Eric Spakerman is a hero. I know you like your type. Uh, right. So welcome to Pixactly, an online tool that tests how well you know your pixels. Draw a box that matches the dimensions given and receive a score based on how close you are. The lower the score, the better. Sounds easy, right? Exactly. Okay, so the fact that that saying sounds easy, right, means that it's not going to be easy. Um, it says, this site is best viewed in Chrome and Firefox on a desktop. Let's go. Right. 30 by 30 is not very big. It's not very big. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... So what size is a, what size is a favicon in a web browser tab? 24? 16? 24? So that means that it's going to be... Maybe about that? Oh, okay, minus 4, minus 3. I thought if that... Yeah, if a browser tab's... If a browser favicon is that size, it would have been double. And so they must be sixteen. So double that, mm, maybe. All right. Okay. Well, that wasn't All right. With the hundred and twenty-five, um, space telegrams, exactly is super hard for me. I got pwned. Right. Well, let's see if I get pwned as well. It does give you a total score. So see what we get. Right, okay. 125 wide by 115 high. So if it says that was about 30, then that's going to be about 60. So we kind of want to be about double that. And then we want to be not quite a box. Maybe about that. Maybe. Awful. Awful. <laughs> Wow, really far off. Okay, that's pretty bad. So is your, okay, so your score, right, okay, so that's why it's saying your score, the lower the better. So your score is by how much you are over or under, I would imagine. If you're under by that, it, it adds that. Okay, so 150, so that was, so the 125 was, so I think I was near 150 when I did my box there. So it's going to be, it's going to be something like that, isn't it? Well, I'm going to use my screen, my finger on the screen now. So if that's 150 by 150, no, that's got to be, it's got to be something like, something like that. Oh, I am vastly over on these. Why am I so far over? I can't believe I'm, I thought I was when I'm using like Illustrator and Photoshop and I have to like, you know, if I'm drawing an artboard or, or something and I need to get it to a size, I'm usually pretty, pretty darn close. I, that's awful. Right, so I'm going to have to be... So it's going to be slightly longer. Right, it's got to be about that then because if I was so far off last time... <laughs> my score is terrible <laughs> um uh, space telegrams okay i'm I'm kind of feeling you on this this is this is not this is not going well at all um this looks like it's only five rounds so um um <laughs> Dirk got 631 as a total score. Um, so I'm not, well, I was going to say, I've not got, I, I'm, I'm well under that, but I've still got one round to go. Right, I'm vastly going over what I think it should be. So I need to do what I think it is and then make it smaller. So width 425, right, and, and 285. So I'm going to say, so 
I'm going to... 120 was about there. Okay, maybe... I think that see I think I think it's about there, but I'm, it's probably about here. And then two eight five right there. Right. Well three hundred and eighty six was my score. Uh Space Diagrams, I think a lot of people who do lots of UI design would probably be good at this, but that definitely isn't me. Uh I'm the same. I don't do a lot of UI, uh, so you're probably right, you know it's it's about getting, you know, getting that right. I mean, I wonder if there's, a, I wonder if there's a difference as well, depending on what resolution your screen is. Because my main screen is a 4K, but the screen I work on most down at the office is like a 2K or 2.5K, you know, so it's 2560. And then I've got other monitors, which are just 1080, 1080p. I wonder if that makes a difference. I don't know, you know, because you're you're working on denser pixels. So I don't know, that might play into it as well. But, um, okay, so I don't I don't feel so bad now because Donna got 568 and Dirk got 631. So I don't feel so bad on my 386. I, I'm going to feel pretty proud of my, uh, my 386 score. Um, but I could do a heck of a lot better. So I'm going to have to come back to this game at some point and uh, really, really um, make that better. So this could be a disaster as well. I don't know. So this is the Bezier game. So let's give you all the link to that in the chat. There you go. There's the link to the Bezier game. So I really struggled learning to use the pen tool in illustrator it took me a long long time to kind of get it. and i still struggle with certain things if i'm trying to do like a a wave which is you know fairly symmetrical uh, i struggle with that and i always end up just doing a jagged one and then using you know the tools to soften it out soften out the curve um but you know it makes a difference from when i used to just do everything in adobe photoshop um and then started to use illustrator because i was the job i was in or the job i got um forced me to use illustrator because there was a lot of uh cut graphics work cut vinyl for vehicles and things so i had to learn how to use illustrator and use the pathfinder tool to subtract shapes and things and use the pen tool and bezier and things so i got a lot better at it because i had to it was my day-to-day -day job that's how i earned a living um but I know that some people struggle with it. Um, so let's see what this is about. It doesn't really say anything. So we can undo. So we've got Control Z to undo. Um, Shift Control Z to redo. Control X will clear the stage. Up will snap to angle. Up, oh, well, I say up. Shift, snap to angle. And I don't know what that key is called. Is that the tab key? No. Not sure. Unlink control handle. What key is that? Does anyone know what key that is? Is anyone else on the website? What key is that? Is that a Mac key? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna because it looks like I might need to unlink the control handles for some of this. But anyway, so let's just draw this line then so we got to click in the nodes all right okay so maybe need to hold shift to make sure i get a straight line okay i think it's going to tell me which keys i need to use to to make sure i get this so holding down so when you're doing uh bezier lines and you, if you hold down shift it will give you a 45 degree angle it'll kind of snap the line 45 degrees. So if you want to get, you know, a, a nice 45 degree angle, hold down shift. So this, this building, this house, you're holding down the shift key whilst you click your left mouse button. Okay, now we're on to circles. 
again. So we start on this one and then we click up here onto here and then when we click, if you hold down shift and drag your mouse left or right, you will get that line. This line's way off. Why is that not? Okay. See, that's not... Mm. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Mm, this isn't going to work out very well. Nope, didn't think so. Right, I can control undo, I think, can't I? Yes. So why did that not... Oh, so this is tutorial stages. So... Before I get into this, I'm just going to nip off for a, for a uh, comfort break. So I'll be back in two seconds. So let's see, how do I get the beer? Oh, okay, folks. Sorry about that. Nature calls and all that stuff. Um, right, okay, so I'm just catching something in the chat. So the key to unlink control handles is Alt. Okay, so I don't have that little symbol on my Alt key, but I think I do remember it being on the Mac keyboard um, on the Alt key. So thanks for that, Space Telegrams. Um, okay, so um, yeah, so I, uh, I don't know if I should just go through the tutorials. Uh, I'll do this really quickly. Well, I didn't obviously didn't get that bang in the middle um, because it wasn't a perfect curve. See, that's not perfect, but you know what? I'm just going to... try to get this to join up. It's not perfect, but... Okay, thankfully you told me what the Alt key was because... Um, I don't, uh, I wouldn't have been able to get this, so. Uh, okay, what am I doing here? What did that do? I wasn't even watching what this did. Okay, nope, nope, nope. What did that do? What am I trying to do here? I should have watched that. I didn't watch what it did. Um, 
what did it do? Control Z. Anyone want to give me some some tips? Because I'm completely lost with what this is trying to get me to to do. Oh, this is uh, embarrassing. You know when your brain just goes blank and you can't figure out what it's actually trying to get you to do, unless you know. Because do I need to join it? You have to draw a path. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. So, but it's only going to give me. It's only giving me two points, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Or have I got to kind of draw? Am I allowed to kind of draw a path where I want? You have a certain number of anger points you're allowed to use. Yeah. So on this one, I've got two, haven't I? So I've only got that one. Or am I being completely stupid here? <clears throat> I think I'm being complete. My brain has just completely left the building. Click on the top control point first, which I did do. There we go. And now we've got this. Path has to stay contained within the grey area. Right, so and I've got no no nodes remaining. Whoa, I think I'm being a thick old. Right, like it's so, okay, so I've got no nodes. <laughs> I've got no nodes. Right. And then I click on the node. Boom. I got one remaining. And then Top of the small directional one. This. Here. Like that? No. This is like pulling teeth, isn't it? You guys must be... I could see you sitting behind your screens going, Carl, what are you doing? What are you doing? I wish I'd kind of watched the animation. I probably would have got it. Click and hold on first node until you get a curve. Right, okay. Click and hold on first node with option on. <laughs> Click and hold on the first node until you get a curve with option on. That's like, oh man. Like that. Oh, okay. Oops. <sighs> okay, guys. I've got it. I think I've got it. <laughs> this is only the tutorial stage. This is the tutorial stage. And then hold down this again. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, balls that up. I love how I love <laughs> I love space telegrams is like all caps. You got it, call. But I think you I think you all caps too soon. I think I think <laughs> I think you've uh, you've 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 let your horse run um, too too soon. <laughs> I think I need to. I think I maybe need to click in here. No, because I need to. I need to read. If this was, it's weird because if this was Illustrator, I would just be doing this out of muscle memory, and I've kind of, I've lost it. Like literally, I've lost it. I, I I'm kind of losing the plot here. Um, because I would, I think I would in Illustrator I would hit escape. Oh no, that was not a good idea, call. That was not a good idea. Oh crap! Right, got that there. Right, so I've got that there. 
Okay, do the same thing again, but when you click on the bottom node, hold the mouse and then press Alt to make it a sharp angle. All right, okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Need to, um... Oh, crap. This is, this is it. This is, this is in, but, oh. You know, this is, uh, yeah. So, I've got my, so... Hold that there. Okay, I think I'm doing. I'm. I'm. I'm messing this up. Yeah, the, the controls are so weird. I think it's one of those things, isn't it? You're so used to using Illustrator and stuff, and then you're just. And it might even be the same controls as Illustrator, and I'm just because it's not an Illustrator screen. I'm. I'm. I'm losing the. I'm losing the plot, and I'm losing the will to live. I am. See, I've got. So do I hold down Alt whilst I... You have to hit Alt before you let go of the mouse. So right now I'm not holding Alt. And I'm making that shape, right? So I've got that shape. Then do I, do I hold down Alt when I let go of the mouse? You have to hit Alt before you let go of the mouse. So I'm holding Alt. See what I mean? It's still got that weird angle. You have to change the first point so you kind of grate the curve. <laughs> this is, must be a nightmare for you guys to watch. I bet you've all finished it. Yeah, Alt is option. Like, on Windows, it's the Alt key. I'm pretty sure it is. I've got a beer here, Craig. And it's, it's not... I've not been drinking it, though. That's probably the problem, you see. It's probably the problem. Um... Alt is option. The Alt key is the option key. I'm pretty sure on Windows. I'm pretty sure. You know? Um, yeah, I am on Windows as well. I'm not on. I'm not on Mac. I'm on Windows, so that makes it even worse. You know what? At the end of the day, if I'm giving people a good laugh right now, that's what this is all about. This is this was a let's play. <laughs> it was a let's play stream. This wasn't a call's going to be serious and teach you how to use busier curves stream. <laughs> this is this is a game stream, and I you never know. I might be doing this deliberately just to make it more fun. Uh, give you guys something to you know put a smile on your face, make your day. You know I know how to do this stuff in my sleep. I I don't you know I could do this this heart shape. No problem at all, but I'm deliberately making it more difficult uh, for, you know, for myself. Just just for the pure satisfaction of, of everyone watching. Because I'm that kind of giving of a person <laughs> to you. That's, that's why I'm here. But really and honestly, I can't feckin' figure out <laughs> how to break this bloody point. All right, let's right. Control Z. Right, I'm not. I'm not holding. The, I'm right. Oh, what did I do there? See now that. See now, if I hold down Option and move, I get this, which is not right. So I, I'm not holding down Option. I get my shape. Now, if I let go, it doesn't do anything. So if I do that, if I do that, and then I, see, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. I don't think I can create heart shapes either, Craig. It's just not for me. Who needs, who needs heart shapes? No one. Um... Uh, Donna, I appreciate that, you know, um, this is, I have no, I have, I have zero ego <laughs> around, around my skills and stuff, it's just like, we all have bad days, and we all have good days, I am particularly having a bad day around this flipping heart shape, I've got a feeling that this heart shape may haunt me from now on, going forwards, I've got a feeling that there may be, um, 
heart shapes getting posted in comments uh, <laughs> all over the place because I can't do this flipping heart. Um, right, let's see. Let's try and get this. So, right, space telegrams. Hold down the mouse and drag. Hit Alt, Option or whatever before you let go of the mouse. I've been doing that. So, no, no Option key. Click, drag. Then if I hold it, if I hold down the Alt key and let go of the mouse, I end up with this. This is the same problem that I have in Illustrator when I'm trying to create my perfect curves. I always just lose the plot and draw a zigzag and then soften the curves because I can't get it to bloody do this. Hey Dan, Dan's Vegan Mortgage Advisor. Dan, you've joined at the right time. I'm on the tutorial stage of using a Bezier tool, which I use every day as part of my job, and it's not going well. Chat are trying to help me out here. Uh, I'm trying to follow their instructions. I'm doing it terribly, badly. We've been stuck on this stupid heart for what seems like an age. Thankfully, this is the last game. Game. Um, but we're, we're not even past the tutorial stage yet because I can't do this flipping heart. Uh, move the mouse after you hit Alt, but before you let go of the mouse button. This is pretty complicated, you know, space telegrams. This is pretty complicated. Right, let's give this a go. Right. Hold down the mouse and drag. Hit Alt, Option, whatever, before you let go of the mouse. Move the mouse after you hit Alt, but before you let go of the mouse button. <laughs> My brain is really <laughs> struggling to take that on board right now. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Right, click and drag. Hit the Alt key before you let go of the mouse. Move the mouse after you hit Alt, but before you let go of the mouse button. Oh. Oh, I've just I've just figured it out. I've just figured it out. I've just figured it out. I've figured it out. Look, I've figured it out. Oh. Guys, guys. Guys. Guys, I got it. Oh shit, no I haven't. Oof. Oh, well, I think we're nearly there. Yeah, I I know I've got the I've got the stream on a delay. Um it was mostly for uh, just for the stream health to work. I think what I'm going to do is next time I'm going to try the stream on a real time so that, you know, there's not there's a 10 second delay right now. So that's frustrating for for you guys, you know, especially if you're watching me try to do something and you're like, it's 10 seconds after I've tried to do it and then you're you're trying to catch up with chat. So that all adds to the fun that we're having on this stream today, doesn't it? It adds to the frustration levels. Um, my God, we started this, I think it read about quarter to nine um, and we've been on this heart for about 20 minutes. But hey, we're bonding, we're connecting, we're, we're you know, we're learning. Well, you already know how to do all this. I'm just kind of getting a bit stuck. Um, Luke, as I say, and mine is doing the same thing here. Try to refresh it. Uh, I don't think it's about refreshing it. I, I don't think it, there's an error in the in the actual software. The error is human related, um, and the error is me. Um, but I think of you know we're getting we're we're getting a step closer. So now I need to get this point, but I need to get the this up to here. So um, that's the, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Craig. You know, laughing is what it's about. This is a let's play stream. Let's play. Not, well, we're learning, but it's it's, mo it's mostly about let's play. Right? That's, that's, I'm glad I made this a let's play stream. I seriously am. Uh, right, so let me just undo this, which is probably, you're all going, no! But I think I've got this bit nailed. So do this. 
hold down Option, get that to there. Okay, so we now have that bit. Do how do I then? How do I then? Is it? How do I then do this bit? Do I? How do I do this bit, guys? How do I get this bit up to here? How do I do this? Because my thought is. Oh. If you've got a bottle of champagne, now's the time. Now is the time. Holy shit! We've got to do a car. I couldn't even do a heart. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I can see the delay now because, you know, I'm getting the instructions on how to do it. But with with time, uh, we've got it. So let's... <laughs> Let's give this car a go. Is anyone else doing this, by the way? Have you guys all finished this? And, you know, I'm like miles behind everyone. Right, I'm going to give this car a go. Um, I'm not very good at doing these curved shapes. Depends on whether it lets me do a node in the middle of that wheel. Because if it doesn't, then boy, oh boy. Right, so we've got 14 nodes. It's going to let me do this with 14 nodes. Right, well, I definitely need to put a node here. Definitely, 100%. And I need to put one here. And I need to put one here. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, what happened there? Need to put one there. And I'm pretty sure I need to put one here. Pretty sure. And then I need to do that. And then I can do that. And then one across here. And then one down here a minute. Ooh, does it... Ooh. Seven nodes remaining. Seven nodes. Six. Five. Whoa, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Shit. I'm not going to be able to get a curve like that, am I? Could do Control Z, I suppose. Am I going to get a curve like that? Oh, oh. Ah, it's not enough, though, is it? Um. Oh, it's not letting me do Control Z. Shoot. Oh crap. Um Yeah, I'm trying to you yeah. But I completely forgot about alt C. Oh, it's not letting me hang. Oh, here we go. Right. Right, getting the getting the hang of this break the handles thing now. Oh, I think we might have done this car. I think we might have done this car. Yes. We did the car. The ideal solution has nine nodes. Nine. Wow. Nine. I need to have a drink. I hope everyone has been learning from these games that we've played today. Um, I thought every, I think every game that we went through, I found was a little bit stressful. And then the next one after that, I felt a little bit more stressed than the one before. This one, well, then again, maybe the, the pixel game, this this game, didn't stress me out. I just can't believe how far how far out I was on, on all of those. But um, this one, so how many nodes have we got for this? 11. Probably says that you can do it in four or something. So this just goes to show a certain amount of... Right, I could prop... Can I... If I do it... 
if I do a tight enough curve here, if I do a tight enough curve, mm, maybe, will it let me get away with that? Maybe, maybe, let me get in there. I don't know how closely it needs to follow the the actual shape of it. Oh crap, I didn't do I didn't do my alt thing. Oh Yeah, I didn't do that right. Oh, okay, I did that in 11. Didn't use them all. Got a little bit uh, before. Is anyone else doing this, by the way? Is anyone else playing this? Or are you just watching me now to see how badly I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do? Um, and do the coloured lines mean anything? Does green mean that it's really good? and Or is it just doing a rainbow effect around the shape? Oof. See you later, Craig. Thanks for coming on and laughing at me. Although I'm sure you'll say you were laughing with me. Catch you in a bit. Lucas, the pixel one is brutal. Honestly, I was so far over. Like, I over-guessed uh, that one. It was uh, really, really... Bad. Right, there's no way... I'm going to get a curve to go around there, is there? That will fit within the track? Nope. Nope. Um, Alright, I'm just going to do my... Uh, what I think I would normally do, but I think... Oh, crap. Um, probably going to run out of... Run out of nodes. Oh, that was stupid. Six nodes remaining. There's there's just no way I'm going to get this done in six, is there? Is there? Five, maybe? Maybe get it done. Oh, shit, I've done it again. No, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be close, though. going to be close oh I don't know if I'm going to do this one because I'm only going to have one one left oh shit that was my last one wasn't it I've got none left um, so Don is saying yeah I've been on the car forever we'll definitely come back to these games and use them to sharpen my skills I think that's it. It's like, you know, we're going... I haven't played any of these and it's about going through and, and getting the practice. And I'm sure there's lots of other... There's different ones. I've played... There's a couple of other ones as well which I've played which were really good. Um, I'll see if I can dig them out and I'll, I'll pop them onto the... I'll list them in the community channel. And I'll list them once this video... Uh, once the stream goes up onto the channel as a... Like an on-demand video. I'll add the games into the description uh, as well and it, if I can find any um, <clears throat> so Space Telegram is saying you don't technically need a node in the middle of a curve no I didn't think so but I, I think it's maybe about I maybe need to take the line up a little bit further so if I go all the way back here for example if I take my line up as far as I can maybe to here I might be able to get a better curve there, like that. And then bring that to there and get a line there. So I suppose, yeah, it's about bringing it as far up into the curve as you can. And then you can 
get get around it. It's much easier. I think it looks a little bit easier with the tighter, definitely with the tighter curves. And that's not why is this not letting me do the alt thing? Is it because I've lifted it off? Yeah, crap. Still getting a bit stuck with the um, with the alt. It's not letting me undo this either. I'm just going to do that. There you go. Yeah, so I'm still. That's that's where I'm getting it. That's where I'm getting it wrong. I'm starting to get the hang of what I need to do with this a little bit. But then again, at the same time, after saying that, I still mess it up. This must be like pulling teeth now for you guys. So I think um, uh, <laughs> Hey Dark, thanks for thanks for joining. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, we're at half past nine we're an hour and a half in I don't know if if I mean if you guys want to hang about more I will I will try to get this game finished um you know I'm willing to do that if you guys are wanting to hang around and um, but I don't know how entertaining it is for you to watch me do this um maybe there is something in watching the pain of me trying to remember simple keystrokes and mouse button presses um so you know I'm, i just my brain remembers what i need to be doing and then just forgets again so like you know i've done that but then i'm you know i'm remembering this kind of stuff but then it's completely messing it up for me um Uh, yeah, it's just an innocent paper clip, Lucas. That's all it is, innocent paper clip. But you know, I'm sure people have. Um, I'm sure people have put fists through monitors for for less than this. You know, I'm not saying I feel like it, but there's there's an element of frustration kicking in here. So I want to get my curve here and then I, right so it's curve first hold down alt move your mouse button where you want it to go right curve first hold down the alt button move your mouse to where you want it to go The ideal solution has eight nodes. I used eight nodes. Oh my god. Right. Okay. See what it says then? It's just oof. Yeah. I think we all kind of, you know. Some of you will be feeling pain just from watching this, or some of you may feel my pain um, as well. So, yeah, I did eight. I did eight. I'm pretty chuffed that I managed to get that with eight. Now, this curve. Can I do this curve? Can I do this curve in one go? What do we think? Can I do this curve in one go? Yes. All right. Oh, but I didn't hold down my... All right, so I need to do the curve first. Curve first. Curve first, then alt to get my angle. And then we know that we can do these curves here in one go if we get it right. Oh shit. I'm going to have to do that one again. Pardon my French, by the way. I don't know when I'm swearing, um, when I, I'm concentrating on this. So apologies if I've been, I've not moved that over far enough. Apologies if my language hasn't been, uh, has not been the best. As I've said before, I use the excuse that I'm Scottish and it's, you know, 
second nature. <laughs> but I try not to swear. Although things like that really make me want to. I'm just trying to get over far enough so that I can get a straight go up this way without touching the side of that spanner or wrench or whatever. Right, so we've got that. Let's see if we can get this curve. Yeah, I think we're in there with that one. And then we get that there. And then we get slight curve here. And then we join that one. Oh, oh okay. I need to do that and then let go and then I can join that one yes did that in the in the eight nodes as well um okay space telegrams are saying it's going to get harder I was kind of hoping that this was kind of going to be okay there's going to be some mad crazy one isn't there there's going to be a mad mad crazy um one to end with Right, so this one is probably going to be... What did that say? Seven, seven nodes remaining. Seven remaining. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to probably want to go up to here. I'm going to... Or here. Oh, crap, that didn't work, did it? I want to do that. Um, where do I want this to go? To there? No, I'm not. This isn't working out, right? Is it? No. Or is it? No. <clears throat> right. Has anyone else done the cloud? Yes. No. Is anyone ahead of me? Please type into chat. Let me know. I'm not doing this I'm not again my brain just is it's, it's half past nine nearly ten o'clock at night here and I just don't think my brain sh is is coping with doing this kind of stuff right now I'm going to just let that one go there oh and why is it not doing it oh maybe it's because it's it's is it touching the the sides of the balloon all right oh, flipping heck Right, can I zoom this in? Let's, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to move this. I'm, I'm zooming in because I, I just want to see how close this is. I, this is cheating. I get that. It's, you know, it's probably cheating. Um, but otherwise, we're going to be here forever. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. Are we in? We're in? Oh, okay. So, how many, um, how many nodes did you use for the cloud space telegram? Again, I didn't use the alt. Five. Five. One, two, three, four. Oh, what? Five. Oh, I don't know if that's going to, I don't think that's going to let me, oh, I 
don't know if I'm like just ever slightly out. It's touching there. Oh, it's not letting me do that. Um, well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this because I've got I've got the nodes left and I will be here all day. Six nodes for me. Okay. This is okay. This is uh, going to be one of those ones where it's going to be tricky. Can I get that to come down there without touching the sides? Yep. See, I'm starting to see now. I've been thinking that you've got to follow exactly all the curves and all the shapes, but all you've got to do is just stay inside the line. And obviously, by zooming in my screen, I've got a lot. I've got a lot closer. Um, a, you know, a much a wider view of these. But obviously, again, I didn't use the Alt thing to. Um, didn't use the Alt key. So let's undo that get that to where I need it to be which is about oh no about there and then I need to maybe think about that no that was a that was a big mistake I should have just left that where it was now I've lost my positioning for this Oh crap, I knew that. I knew I was going to mess that up. I should have... Should have... Kept an eye on what I was doing. Um, okay, is this one going to let me... Get around this? Yes. Yes. And I want to go down here. Now, this is going to be, if I can get this around this corner. Then I should be able to get up th around this corner. Nine nodes remaining. Space telegrams. You seem to be pretty good at this. How many, how many nodes did it take you <laughs> to get around this head? I wonder if I can get. A fairly good curve around there. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oh, see, this may well be because I zoomed in. Maybe I get a bit more space by zooming out. Yeah, I'll get more space to do the. Oh, is that touching? Is that touching? Oh, I got around it. Oh, and I didn't do the flipping alt key thing I don't think that's gonna work is it yeah oh um, see if we can get that to curve up into there Yep. Did this one in 14, but I was being pretty lazy about it. <laughs> yeah, I think, it, yeah, that's where I'm at right now as well, is just basically, let's just get through this thing. So I just want to get that there, then I want to get that up to there. Get that to there, and then I want to get that one there. 11. Out of 16 available. He's got a very pointy nose. Right. Does anyone know how many of these there are? So that we can you know, try and get through this. Right. 11 nodes remaining. I think I'm just going to be like you. 
space telegram and I'm gonna just try to um, whiz my way through this. On the plus side, I've kind of, you know, now figured out a lot of the issues we had whilst we were working on the heart shape. So that's got to be good, right? Oh, I've done it again after saying that. This makes me um, A, want to cry, but B, appreciate Adobe Illustrator even more, even though, um, even though of late Adobe Illustrator has been an absolute pig of a piece of software to use with crashes and just all sorts of things going wrong with it. Um, but compared to compared to this, I will take Illustrator any day of the week. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually get a bit of a curve on this. And again, forgot to do the Alt key. Oh, that was not such a good move. Yeah, that, yeah, that wasn't a good move. Nine nodes out of 12. Um, space telegrams. Hey Dolly, thanks for joining. You, you, It's great to have you come in. You come in pretty much when the stream's nearly nearly finishing. Um, you've missed out on some, uh, some fun, we'll call them fun games, and you've missed out on people having a really good laugh at me failing miserably, miserably on a very simple task of drawing a heart shape and just not getting to grips with it at all. Um, Space Telegram saying this game really makes you think about stroke economy and that you should use less nodes possible when making shapes in Illustrator. Uh, yeah, you know, that's what you want when you go into outline view in Illustrator and look at the nodes and look at your the angles of your um, control points. You know, you really want them to be nice angles and stuff. Um, so this is, this is again, it's a game, but it is teaching you about how to create the right curves and things. I mean, the top of this duck's head is really not good, but um, there probably is a way to smooth that out. Um, uh, hey, Dolly, um, I start at 8 p.m. on a Thursday. Um, so 8 o'clock. British summer time when we're an hour ahead or GMT when we're um, when we uh, put the clocks back later in the year so uh, yeah I know I'm also not the best at kind of saying when I'm going to go online I, I do it on my community page on YouTube and then I about an hour before I put a post out on Twitter um, but yeah um, if I remember what I'll do is I'll um, you know I'll, I'll speak to I'll speak to um, Conductor Crunchy and see if he's cool with me kind of using, you know, posting in the Sofa Squad Discord or something as well, you know, if um, as long as he's not streaming, obviously, um, to say that I'm streaming on on, on YouTube. Um, I'm thinking about moving on to Glamesh as well for a little bit and giving that a go. Oh, this one, see, this one, this one's on brand. This one's on brand. Uh, let's get round this. Let's get round this one as quick as we can. All right. Let's get round this as quick as we can, so that we're not here all blimmin' night. Now, if I get this right, is that going to let me go all the way around this side? Nope. Is that going to let me go all the way around here? Is it? Is it? No, it's too high. Ah. Okay. Maybe if I get really close to the top of that. And I can bring that down a bit. Is it going to let me do it this time? Very close. 
close, very close. I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to put that there. See if I can get a node in here that I can curve around that gap. There. Oops. Right, I know that I can do it. I know that I can do it, so let's do that again. Bring that around there. Then I need to use Alt. Bring that to there. Get around this. Oh crap! What happened there? Has that got a point? Is that left a point there? No. Is that because I've done that? Sugar. Sugar. Or maybe I just need to uh, bring that. Just bring that back to to there, maybe. When I'm doing these, I, I'm I'm kind of almost forgetting that you guys are watching at the same time. I'm, I'm just my my brain is like into uh, like full on concentration mode. It's crazy. I'm definitely not doing economy of uh, nodes on this. I'm getting uh, getting pretty stressed out by it all. And I want to put that there because I want to try and get. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? I'm not going to get this around. Is this, would I get this around in one go? Can I do it? Seven nodes out of 11. Two levels after this. Right. Hang on in there, guys. There's six concurrent viewers absolute legends for hanging on um we're nearly at 10 p.m here my time you know so a two hour stream so absolute legends for for hanging out with me um and kind of playing these games <laughs> oh this just takes me back to the typography games that we played 11 nodes remaining right i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try and get round this as quickly as possible Uh, yeah, just going to try and get around this. Now, if I let this go, will that let me go around here? Nope. Shocker. So I need to maybe do that. Get around. Is that, oh, that's clipping, isn't it? Yeah, didn't go low enough. This is tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. <sighs> Anyone who's watching this as a replay, if you've made it this far, good for you. Because this, oh my goodness. What is going on? What am I not doing right here? What am I not doing right? Do I just need to bring that back to there? Is that what I need to do? And then do that. And then, oh, I didn't, didn't hold all, right. I'm just, I don't know if I'm gonna get around this in, with seven. Oh, nope. Keep forgetting the alt key. And for anyone that's that's that, that's um, kind of just joined and wondered, is just wondering what the heck is going on. Um, well, we're playing some games to try and uh, make our design, <laughs> our design skills better. Uh, and with my uh, progress so far, that is uh, debatable. On here. Um, because I am completely losing my mind with this, 100%. I think I can get around that. Yep. Oh, we're nearly there. We are nearly there. We're nearly there. I think I'll be able to get around this corner a little bit. I don't know if we'll be able to... Yeah, does that join up? 
10 nodes out of 12 for that one. This should be the last one then if Space Telegrams is correct. F flipping heck. 16 nodes. Right, I, I think we may end up giving up on this one because this looks hella tricky. Yikes. Yeah, that's the last one. Um, I, I've just got this feeling that this is going to be um, pretty brutal and we're not going to get um, through this one. Because it's just going to be just just going to be horrible to do. Put the nodes in the middle of the flag, right? It's not liking that, so undo that. Um, right, you know what? I think I've lost the will to live with this. Um, I'm not enjoying it anymore. <laughs> and I do think that this will take forever. I, I honestly think this will take forever. Um, I don't know if this gives a score at the end, but if it was me scoring it, I would give myself a score of uh, abysmal. Um, yeah, so I know what you're saying. It's like just so just sort of don't use the option. Just let it kind of do this. Um, and then is it like a straight line down, do you think? Is it a straight line down and then... A curve to the to the to the middle again you know is it a curve like that and then curve like that down to about here oops shit okay maybe maybe I will finish it maybe I will finish it that one I kind of needed to break. Yes, corners at the edges and curves at the middle. Um, that one's a bit tight. Yeah, okay. You're like a, you're like a physical instructor, space telegrams, you know, saying, no, you've got two more in you. You know, two more press ups, two more push ups, and two more two more reps on the dumbbells, keeping me going rather than letting me quit, and I appreciate that, because I really was just ready to just go. You know what? Screw this, I'm out of here. And you, sir, let me finish it. You let me finish it. I can, I can, I, you know, I would have been disappointed in myself. I would have been disappointed in myself. I had 24 nodes left to spare over the whole game. I don't know how many of you had space telegrams. I know that you said, though, that you were just like being lazy and getting through it. And I'm pretty sure you would have had a really high score. Um, who else is still here um, watching this? Um, thank you so much. It's been it's been a it's been a great couple of games. Uh, we've been through. You had twenty spare. Cool, cool. I know you would have probably got around about the same as me then because I know that you said you kind of were really quick. Um, we played. I shot the serif. And didn't do so good on it. Two hundred six. I think the best score I got was two hundred fourteen. Um, I think the total you can get is 230. Then we did 
shape type. I got 78 out of 100. I uh, had a, few, a couple of terrible rounds on that. Then we did Kern type, and I got 90 out of 100. Had the, I think it was the two last rounds on this are what messed it up for me, or I would have got a much better score. Then we had the Pixel game. I was terrible at that. Need more practice on that. And then we have the incredibly frustrating Bezier, Bezier game where I won't be able to live down the shame of the heart shape. And anyone who was on this live stream or who watches the replay, um, I fully expect you to, you know, leave some comments in the comments stream or the, the comments section of this uh, video. Leave me some hearts, you know, for pain and hopefully for a little bit of love for uh, making it through this stream without just throwing my toys out the pram. Um, so, yeah, uh, that has been the let's play stream i enjoyed it i did enjoy it It was a little bit frustrating um i do want to do some streams over on glamesh if you've never heard of glamesh um it's like a new it's a competitor to twitter really um and so i want to go on there and i will be playing actual games you know like fun games not design games and just hanging out and chatting and i'm hoping to start to do that at the weekends um there has been requests for me to use these Thursday night live streams to do some logo critiques and look at uh, portfolios, give some feedback on portfolios. I can't actually, I mean, I could give feedback on portfolios, but my own portfolio is in dire need of updating and actual content. It's just one of those things as designers, you know, you get caught up doing all the client work that you don't have the time to do your own portfolio uh, to do stuff so I would actually feel pretty bad critiquing someone else's portfolio but you know if, if if people are up for that then it might actually make me pull my finger out and get my own one done but I do want to start doing helping out you know subscribers to the channel who would like some feedback on on their logo so I am in the middle of putting together a page on my website that will allow people to submit um logo designs and a bit of background information about what the logo's for, who its target audience is, because I'd like to know a little bit about of information rather than just judging the logo on how it looks. If I know what the you know the, the background is of the logo and who it's aimed at, um, then we can then sort of bring in colour theory and uh, typography and say, well, do I think that this type the this font speaks to that type of audience or do these colors feel like they um, would reach out to that to the archetype of that particular um, customer base or audience so so yeah so I will uh, be doing that and I'll be opening it up for submissions it's probably going to take me a couple of weeks to get it done to be honest I am quite busy um, but I'll keep everybody up to date through the community channel um, on YouTube so just keep an eye on that just keep checking that and I'll, I'll put some updates there I want to start using that a bit more than just sort of saying hey I'm going live tonight uh, I want to start using get a bit of interaction there and um, yeah it's been cool thanks for um, thanks for hanging out uh, it has been good um, this stream will be available <laughs> will be available on the channel uh, like I say if you've watched this all the way to this point as a replay well done to you thanks to everyone that's been on um dolly if you're still here hopefully catch you um earlier in the stream next time space telegrams thank you so much for all your comments and your your help uh who else is lucas thanks for coming on uh, Donna, so glad that you started to get the notifications and you were able to come on. And we had Craig, we had Dirk. Who else did we have um, earlier on? I don't think there's that many. We had Dan, Vegan Mortgage Advisor, come on. Um, and was that it, I think, for tonight? I think it was. Just want to scroll all the way back just in case I missed anyone. Oh, Asa was on as well. Uh, Twixlow made an appearance. Really sorry, Twixlow, I did not see your post, so I didn't give you a shout out. And Prudence uh, was on early on in the stream as well and may still be here, I don't know. But thank you to 
all of you, you're all legends, um, and I am going to call it a day and end the stream. So uh, hopefully catch you all again next week. Um, not sure what the topic will be yet, but um, I will post on the community channel like I always do. So uh, take it easy, stay creative, and uh, look out for more videos on the channel and live streams upcoming. Have a good evening or a good day or a good morning, wherever you are. Bye for now.